Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave and today we're on a motorcycle and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an oil change on this thing. It's long overdue, 4,100 kilometers. So I need to do it and uh, there aren't very many uh, YouTube videos on this bike out there. It's a Yamaha XV250 Virago and um, it's a 2013 and so we're gonna get on it give it a good ride warm up the oil go home and um do an oil change so i'm gonna take you guys along with me so uh, i'll see you when i get home now that we're back home there's a few things that we're going to need an oil filter and a gasket oil in my case i'm using 10w40 a six-sided number 17 socket a small extension and a ratchet an old rag, or in my case, paper towel, a funnel, a catch pan of some kind, a number five Allen key or Allen key socket. Also, what's nice to have is a magnetic pen, just in case you drop something in the oil. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go to the right-hand side of the bike and locate your oil fill plug and remove it and set it aside somewhere where you won't forget about it. The next step is to locate your oil drain plug. After you locate it, grab your oil catch pan and place it under your drain plug. Grab your wrench, your socket, and your extension and remove the bolt by turning it to the left. Try not to hit your catch pan or you could get oil all over the place. Find somewhere to put the bolt so you won't forget about it. Next, what you want to do is wipe down all the old oil off that drain plug and make sure that there's no metal shavings in the oil. There's nothing there. It's good. Reinstall the drain plug, turning it to the right. Get it finger tight first and then grab the socket and uh, snug it up. Not too tight though, you don't want to strip it. Next, move the catch pan to the other side of the bike. Now that we're on the other side of the bike, you're going to want to grab your number 5 Allen key or Allen key socket, oil filter, and your oil filter gasket, and some more paper towel, or an old rag. You're also going to want the funnel. So the second thing you want to do on this side of the bike is you want to grab some paper towel and or your old rag and stick it between your bike and the exhaust so that you don't get oil under there. I'm an idiot, so I forgot to do that until later. What you want to do next is uh, loosen all these three Allen keys until all of them are loose, but leave the top one on. When most of the oil is drained out of there, remove the last bolt and pull it off the cover. Before throwing the old oil filter away, make sure that the new one fits. Same thing with the oil filter gasket. Make sure to put the new oil filter on the exact same way that you took the old one out. They're not universal and if you put it on backwards, you could kill your motorcycle. Make sure to clean all the old oil out of there before installing the new oil filter. You may also want to put some old oil on the rubber gaskets on both sides of the oil filter to make a better seal. Before reinstalling the oil filter cover, be sure to remove the old gasket and clean all the excess oil off of the cover. Don't forget to put the new gasket on there before reinstalling or you will have a major oil leak. Don't forget to put a little bit of old oil on the new gasket just to help it seat better. When reinstalling, make sure to have the Yamaha logo oriented the correct way. Grab the longer bolt and put it into the right hand side and thread it in hand tight. 
Do the same with the other two smaller bolts but on the bottom left and the top left side. Now grab your allen key or your allen key socket and tighten them all down till they're snug. One of the many reasons to have a magnetic pen. I'm sure there's a torque spec on these, but once they're tight, a quarter turn, and that seems to work for me. Next, what you want to do is you want to grab your funnel and put it into the fill hole at the top. Don't forget to remove and clean off all the old paper towel and oil that you got on your bike earlier. Next, grab your new oil and fill it up. This bike takes 1.3 liters, so that is what I'm going to put into it. That's 10W40 I'm putting into the bike. Conventional oil, it's not synthetic. This is the second bottle of 10W40. Make sure not to put too much. Don't forget to put the cap back on before you start the bike, or you have a big oily mess to clean up. Also, clean it off before you reinstall it and there's also a rubber o-ring on there that you could replace every single time but I have never had the need to do so. Now you're good to start the bike once you install the cap. To check the oil level of your bike there is a little sight glass underneath the fill cap. Just lift the bike straight up and check to see that the oil is between the two lines that you see on the side glass. Start the bike and let it run for a little bit and then check it again for it might go down. In my case, as you can see here, it is a little bit lower than the top line when you lift the bike straight up. So I like to get it right at that line so I had to add a little bit more. Now take it for a test ride and check the leaks. If there are no leaks, you're good to go. If you have a leak, you gotta go back and check that all the bolts that you touched are tight. One of the most important parts is to dispose of your oil properly because it can harm the environment. Most if not all recycling places will take used oil and they will dispose of it for you. If you liked this video or found it helpful please leave a like, comment, subscribe and let me know how I did. As I'm spilling a little bit of oil on the ground I have to clean that up. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care, ride safe, be safe, and have a good one.